So a very frequently asked question about playing the trombone is how do I play in the upper register? And that's a constant source of confusion for some younger players. So for me, I will just say right off the bat, I maybe have an unorthodox approach because I say as soon as I stopped thinking about being able to play in the upper register, I was able to play in the upper register because when you focus on it so much, sometimes it does not allow you to teach your body what needs to happen. So what I like to think about is this. Focus on the things you can control. Focus on the things that are going to allow you to be successful in playing the upper register. We know that we don't want to have pressure, so we want to have very relaxed way of playing. We know that just scientifically, to make a higher note, the vibrations have to be faster. So with every octave, it's twice as fast, the vibration. So that means your air has to be moving very fast, and we're changing vowel sound. So as I go up, I'm saying E inside of my mouth, with the tongue, it's raising in the back, making the air go faster, allowing me to play into the upper register. So one of the first things that I like to do is do wide interval flexibility that gets me into the upper register. So here you're gonna hear me play in fifths, perfect fifths, up into uh, from the root to the third in a major key, uh, and just go up in half steps to start to just wake up that upper register. <laughs> The next exercise that I like to do is just to play something in the upper register. And by something, I mean something from music. So there's lots of exercises you can do, but really it's most important to actually play music in the upper register, in my opinion. So I'm using the opening of Tommy Dorsey getting sentimental, and we're just playing that major seven arpeggio up. Another favorite exercise, just to access those upper register notes before I do any deep work here, is gonna be just to do rips. So I'm just gonna use alternate positions, go up octaves. Use the alternate positions that you like. There's people that will argue with where I'm gonna put these positions, but uh, you can argue about that in the comments if you want. But uh, I like to play these notes in the same positions that they are in lower octaves. But people can argue with me if they prefer a different one. But I do that up as high as I can, and I think it's really effective. Another thing that I like to do is to try to practice the thing that's the hardest for me, and that's articulating in the upper register. So I just take a major scale and I just go ta 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 and I go up in half steps. I know, really simple, right? And that gets me to actually focus on articulation and actually focus on articulating in that extreme register, because that's a thing that I still struggle with.
And then to wrap it all up, I think it's really important to start to play melodies. I know we played an excerpt from the melody when we were talking about Tommy Dorsey. To play melodies in the upper register is the ultimate test if you can actually play up there. I don't really care personally if I can smack the crap out of some high notes. I want to be able to use it in my improvisations. There are certainly times where you want to smack the crap out of some high notes, but I think it's equally valuable to have to play something musical. Do something like How Insensitive because that's a long melody and it has... Uh, a lot of upper register notes that are going to force you to uh, focus on control of the airstream, the speed of the air, and uh, endurance. You're building endurance. So my tips for playing in the upper register on the trombone is you need to focus on a couple of things. One is staying relaxed. The next is using fast, focused air. And to do that, you have to focus on making sure that the inside of your mouth is making the right syllable. So O, A, or E. And that's the tongue placement in the back of your mouth. Those three things are what add up to successfully or not successfully playing in the upper register. Usually tension can be a huge factor, too slow of air, too wide of air, not focused enough of air, and a lack of patience are the main reasons. Put 10 minutes, 11 minutes, maybe 15 minutes of upper register practice potentially at the end of your practice session so you're not so tired that you can't practice anything else and uh, give it time. And like I said, as soon as I stopped focusing on it was when my un upper register just became a lot more available to me and kind of unlocked that uh, and made it available for my improvisation, for playing tunes, whatever. If this video has got you intrigued and you want to go deeper, you know, feel free to go over my website, nickfinzer.store. You can find some master classes there. You can book a lesson and uh, I'd be happy to talk to you more about these specific topics or whatever you're working on to reach your goals. So feel free. Uh, again, that's nickfinzer.store. So go down below, click that subscribe button. More lessons coming your way very soon. And as always, thanks for watching and happy practicing.